Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another of these older Invicta figures, and it is one of my favorite Invicta figures that I have in my collection. This is their Dimetrodon. And until recently, I did not actually have this figure, and I actually had never even seen this figure until someone actually pointed it out to me a little while ago in a Dimetrodon review. Someone stated something about the Invicta Dimetrodon, and it immediately sparked my interest because I love the Invicta figures. So I searched it up, and I was extremely impressed by the figure overall. And then I ended up getting very lucky when I got that very cool lot of a whole bunch of rare figures a while ago. And this one was included, so we have it now here to review. And I will say, just like I had stated in the unboxing of that cool collection of rare figures that I got, that this Dimetrodon is beautiful and quite possibly the best looking Dimetrodon I have in my collection. Again, it's extremely, extremely small, much smaller than most of the Invicta figures, so you probably have a hard time really getting a good idea of what it looks like right now, so let's go ahead and get a closer look. So starting up here at the head sculpt, look at that beautiful head sculpt. It is impressively well sculpted for the age of this figure. Of course, being a Invicta figure, it's all one solid color. There's no alternate color to the figure. That's kind of their deal. That's just one thing that I feel like is very appealing and very Invicta-ish is that one solid color. But you can see that the overall sculpting of the head is just absolutely breathtaking. The skull shape and everything looks really good. Beautiful nostril sculpted out up there. You can also see that slight hook in the jaw of the Dimetrodon. The eye socket is also really nicely sculpted, as is the eye itself. You can see in there, really, really nice looking head sculpt. Again, on this side, you can see just how beautiful it is on either side, no matter which way you look at it. As you start to move down the neck, you've got lots of movement of the skin showing up there, lots of skin wrinkling, and really nice scaling as we lead down the neck into the shoulder blade. You can see the shoulder blade is present there. The front leg is really nicely done. Once you get down into the foot, you can't see too much detailing going on, like, toes very well. They are present a little bit, but you just really can't see them too much. But again, the foot is extremely, extremely small. So even the detail that is included is quite impressive. And the movement of the skin kind of coming off of the body there, showing the movement of the skin reacting to the leg is really, really nicely done as well. The sail looks beautiful. Really, really nice detailing throughout the sail as well. And then right under the sail, you can kind of see a little bit more of like a larger scaling going on. Really nice skin folding and skin detailing here in the stomach region of the Dimetrodon. As we move back to the rear leg, the rear leg also looks really well sculpted. Pretty much the same style of foot sculpt, but you can see the toes a little better back here. Really nice calf muscles right there, really big and bulging calf muscles. As we lead out the length of the tail, you can see really nice detailing and sculpt out there as well as I bump the camera. But nice tail, it leads out in a very natural looking position, it's not overly bent or articulated or anything, it looks really good. And then looking at the opposing side, again, some really nice kind of hanging skin there in the throat region. You can actually take note to what appears to be the ear sculpted out back there. Really nice skin wrinkling and beautiful skin detail there in the neck region on this side. And this side specifically has a lot of really nice skin movement shown throughout the sculpt. You can see the leg kind of pulling the skin right there as the leg is pulling back and kind of bunching the skin up here in the stomach at the same time. And again, look at, due to the Dimetrodon kind of having its body curved a little bit, the insane amount of really nice skin texture and skin wrinkling going on on this side is super, super impressive. Some more really nice skin folds down here in the lower part of the stomach, but just in general right here. And once I hold it at this angle, you can really see how the skin is playing off to the body kind of being bent in that position and that just looks absolutely incredible. You can see the rear leg back here, the thigh has some nice musculature once again. The foot sculpts of both of the legs front and back are very similar to what we saw on the previous side but again you can actually take note to the toes there a little bit on this side. And then we lead out the length of the tail once again, really nice skin texture, beautiful detailing as we do lead out that tail. The underside doesn't really sport too much detail, but just a little bit. And then you've got the really nice sail sculpt again on this side. Looks just like it did on the previous side. And if you look at the figure from above, you can see how really nice the curvatures of the body are, really displaying the walking motion of this Dimetrodon. So again, even though it's extremely, extremely small, it is absolutely beautiful. Now to show you that my statement of this being small is not an understatement, 
for a length, you are looking at roughly about three inches or around seven and a half centimeters. And for a height, about an inch and a half or about three and a half centimeters, somewhere in that range and knock the poor guy over. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Jurassic World line. Really, really giving you a good idea that this Dimetrodon is extremely small. He doesn't even really look like a Dimetrodon next to these figures, more like a small lizard. But hopefully next to these figures, if you happen to have any of them, you'll have a good idea ahead of time that this is an extremely small figure. If this is something you are interested in potentially searching out, you just definitely need to be aware of the fact that it's not going to size up anywhere near in comparison to the other Invicta figures. However, I do believe the Invicta figures are all to scale with each other. So that does keep this in the same size range as the previous Invicta figures, which is why it is so small in comparison to these figures right here, which is, as far as I'm concerned, an awesome, awesome addition to the Invicta line is the fact that they are all to scale with each other. But again, that also means that the Dimetrodon was pretty much inevitably going to be really small. So even with this Dimetrodon from Invicta being very small, I absolutely am in love with it. I think the sculpt is fantastic, and in fact, it's the only Invicta figure that I keep out regularly to display with the small amount of figures that I do have room for to display currently until I get more room and kind of straighten some things up and actually am able to one day display my entire collection. Until then, this Dimetrodon is the only Invicta figure that really does get the opportunity to stay out and about with the other figures that I have displayed because overall it is a fantastic looking Dimetrodon. I think the sculpt on this is just incredible. I would really love to see a much larger version of this figure and I would actually also like to get another one of these at some point to repaint because I feel like with some realistic paint on it that detail would pop so well on this figure but it is absolutely mind-boggling how much detail they've crammed into this especially on that one side where the Dimetrodon is kind of bunching the skin up really nicely the detail over there is just absolutely baffling to me so much incredible skin detail and skin movement shown in the sculpt over there on something so small it is just ridiculously awesome as far as the sculpt goes over there but even the other side really has some fantastic sculpt showing the skin stretched more so than bunched up the skin texture looks really good really nice scaling all over the Dimetrodon the skull shape is just phenomenal really really beautiful sculpt overall the paint application of course is your typical standard Invicta paint where it's just one solid shade of color there were some painted versions from Invicta released at one time but I don't believe the Dimetrodon was one that was included with that I could be wrong as I'm not too familiar with the painted versions but as far as I know there was not a painted Dimetrodon but uh, again, maybe that's something I'm just unaware of and I'll find out about it. Probably in the comments section here if anyone else is aware. But this one specifically, absolutely awesome. So I will do my best to find a link on eBay to somewhere where you can purchase this because clearly it is long discontinued. But if I can in fact find a link to purchase one of these on eBay, I will include it in the description. And otherwise, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.